Hey guys, I am back, and we are back with Red v Blue. This is season four, episode sixty-one. This is fair competition. Um, I went away, so I'm sorry about that. Do you like my shirt? It says Torch Boy. I want to give a shout out to my family, Glenn and Chelsea, for buying me that. That's awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really loving Red v Blue so far. Now, if I've forgotten a few things that have happened, I'm sorry. I've been away for a week and a half, so um, scheduling has just been uploading the videos, and I will be getting camp camp. Uh, and Ruby Chibi up as soon as possible. Um, but yes, this is Red V Blue. This is season four. This is fair competition. Let's go. All right, Ben. Donut. Sarge. Simmons has been demoted. <laughs> All right, Ben. Nah. Do you say reasons of dementia? Oh come on, that wasn't a real judge. That was Donut wearing a powdered wig. Over. <laughs> Overruled. Shame on you. We are now holding auditions for the permanent position of second in command here at Blood yes. Outpost number one. What? Yeah. And since Simmons is disqualified because of the aforementioned cuckoo-ness, and yeah. since Griff is ineligible, or because I don't want to compete, because you're ineligible. <laughs> no, I just don't want to compete. Of course you don't, because you're ineligible. <sighs> Whatever. I guess that means I get the job because I'm unopposed, which is the same way I got most likely to be fabulous in high school. Actually, Donut. I managed wow. to find some other candidates for you to compete against. I'm oh, who's that? I'm located in an old wrench used by Lopez. And oh my god. Unknown origin. Some dirt in a rock <laughs> entered the preliminaries, but they didn't make it to the semifinals. Lazy <laughs> bastards. Yes, you guys are going down. In your face, wrench. In your face. Take that bone It's head. a skull. <laughs> Woo. You'll be competing against each other in a series wow. of thrilling events. Order to gain my attention. First up, okay. Course. Griff, get the alligators. I thought I was ineligible. <laughs> You're still perfectly capable of grunt work. My life was going exactly as planned. I was second oh, really? in command of a marginally successful unit. I had a superior officer who genuinely cared about me. I had the respect and admiration of all my peers. That was the dream. How did it all go so wrong? You didn't How? Have any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that stupid tank was just a figment of my imagination. No. So. Sheila! I think I will call him Crunchbite. Yeah, that's a stupid name. Uh, well, I think it's better than your suggestion. Crouchosaurus. Who are you talking to? Crouchosaurus, mother of fucking no. Jesus. He is my friend. He is not going to eat anybody. Yeah. He thinks you guys think too much to eat. He thinks we stink? It smells like someone set a fish on fire in here. Caboose, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Are you sure about this thing? Absolutely. Yeah. He has not tried to bite me at all. <laughs> since he bit me the first time. <laughs> yeah, okay. that was hilarious. I think I might need a tetanus shot. <laughs> Whoa, that thing's breath smells like infected cheese on a hot plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, make him angry. I say, <laughs> Jesus like Christ, Joe. Well, it's okay. Juggling dead hamsters in here? Old yogurt. Oh, bless him. Throw up a can of trash. That's exactly what he said right before he bit me. You understand what he's saying? Wait, wait, wait. I think I'm hearing a pattern here. I think that blargs come after honks. Okay. Vice versa. I think I think Blarg meets me or apples. Apples. Guys, apples must be the name of his cat. Quick, quick! Is, is apple stuck in a tree? Oh my Fire fucking Marvin. Jesus! Mr. Huge Alien. He is so stupid. What saying? I have no idea if that means yes or no. No, oh, neither. Goes away or vice versa, Perry. Sorry. <laughs> You two are retarded. You're not gonna be able to figure out alien language by experimentation. Give it up. You don't know that. Yeah, you don't, you don't know even that. know how they talk. What if their language isn't entirely verbal? It could be part telepathic or via smells. Oh, well, if it's via smells, then you should be fluent in the language already. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Shut up, you're not helping. Wait, I think Tucker might be right. I think he might be saying things telepathically. I just heard something in my head. What? What was oh it? It was a God. voice saying, Blarg, 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 Hog. <laughs> that wasn't in your head, Caboose. You Jesus just said Christ. That. You're just so dumb, you're lagged a few seconds behind us. By the time <laughs> your brain figures out what it's heard, it feels like it's already happened. That oh my God. Wait. <laughs> I hear something else in my head. <laughs> 
Hang on, it's ready more. Trying to communicate with me. Quick, Tucker, get a ladder. <laughs> Wow. Wow, Caboose, wow. Just, just wow. Just move on quickly, this is lost in triangulation, wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, Nerfbags. <laughs> oh, here we go. Third round of the competition and steal anyone's contest. Yeah, yes. burn, wrench. Anyone includes me. Wait, <laughs> how, how are you losing to a wrench and a skull? A talent contest. Awesome. <laughs> but then the mysterious skull pulled ahead during the question and answer session. That doesn't seem physically possible. So the standings are the skull, no luck, and in third, the wrench. Which is the current crowd favorite? Go and show the way to the <laughs> Maybe the skull will be your new sidekick. <laughs> hey, Sarge, how can I kiss your ass if I don't have any lips? And in last place, Griff. What? <laughs> Ineligible to win, dead man. Yeah. Luckily, there's no chance of that happening since the last round is an evening wear competition. Oh, ho, ho, <laughs> you're in trouble now, Skull. Then can I quit? Of course not. Jesus. Only eligible contestants can withdraw from the competition. <sighs> How did the Skull get the hat on and the wrench get the bow on? Fifth place. That's what you need to know. Should I even ask who's in fourth? I'm reserving yeah. fourth place for any late entries who would obviously be better <laughs> than you. Such as a turd or a turd farmer. <laughs> hey, Gary, is there any way that you can translate what this big alien is saying to us? No. Oh, come on, man. Isn't this one of the aliens that yeah. killed you? Yes, but I do not know much about those creatures. I was only programmed with knowledge of the known. I mean you. Yeah, listen, man. <laughs> that word is really starting to bug me a little bit. You did yes, not sir. even know what it meant until I told you. I know, but you just say it so much. I only say Shisno in context, like when talking to Shisno or about the Shisno. I think I see what you mean, Shisno. So you'll stop. <laughs> Interspecies prejudices take a long time to overcome, but I will try. Thanks. Aww. Luckily, I am not lazy like Shisno. Like yeah, now. it's pretty clear you mean to give this your best effort. I think <laughs> the important thing is that I am trying. Okay. Hey, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He's now. trying to get a translator so that we can talk to each other. Tucker. The enormous alien doesn't speak our language. Speaking no. slowly is not gonna help. What? <laughs> I'm talking to Caboose. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand. Are, are, are you hungry? Tucker, are you hungry? Are you cold? What? No. Oh do you need a blanket? Oh god. Tucker, do you want some hot dogs in a blanket? Damn it. No, Caboose, I'm not cold. I don't want a hot dog. And if you put mustard in my fucking sheets again, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, gargantuan alien. Now that we have decided to keep you, you the real day. I vote for Fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy! Fluffy. <gasps> Fluffy! The alien that only loves! He's got to have a name. Why don't we just ask him? Hey, alien dude, what's your name? Name. I am Tucker. This is Church. That's Bitch Pants Mick Crabby. Hey, me. well that's what we call you. Not me. I call you Mrs. Mick Crabby. Thanks. What is your name? Bitch pints, Mick Crabby. Your name. Name. Just keep repeating it, Church. I'm sure he'll come up with the right definition on his own. He yeah. is Tucker. Tucker. You are. No, no. No, not Hong Kong. Name. Hong Kong. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All this guy says is Hong Kong. Well, have you ever considered the fact that his name is Hong Kong? Or... Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? Yeah. His, His name, is, name is Hong Kong. Hey, big alien, is your name Hong Kong? Warm. Hey, wait a second, I think Blarg means yes. Alien, does Blarg mean yes? Warm. Holy shit! Blarg means yes! He just said yes! Blarg means yes! I speak alien! You're communicating. Yeah, unless Blarg means no, in which case, he just said no. Blarg does not mean yes. What? No way. Hey, alien, am I right? Haha, <laughs> see? The fuck do you know? <laughs> but it could mean no. Jesus. Wow. I like how Sheila's in the background. We don't have any envelopes. This is the army. No, that's a winner. Oh, yes! Well, my life's officially over. Time to go kill myself. Wait for me. <laughs> Look, no offense, imaginary tank, but I don't believe in you. You're just a product of my imagination. No, Actually, she's not. I'm a product of the military contractor that made the lowest bid. I'm a little ashamed of that. Well, leave me alone. I can't have some imaginary tank ruining my excellent reputation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go dig a hole to live in. <sighs> I wish Griff was here. I could convince him there was food underground. Then he would dig half a hole for me. Or maybe a third of a hole. Then he'd use the shovel to eat oatmeal. 
On oh. second thought, I don't wish Griff was here. You can live with me. Just ignore it. It's not real. I <gasps> have my own base. In fact, I've made lots of renovations since you all left. How are you? Hey, that's the old blue base. Yes. I was sent to guard it from something. I can't really remember what. Aww. Some of my memory banks have failed over the years. Aww, she Do you uh... remember what the blues were fighting? Uh, I think it was pirates. Are you sure? I think it was another army. I think they were a different color. No, it was definitely pirates. <laughs> sound right. Yeah, pirates. Pirates. I think there were some ninjas that were working with them. No, yeah, ninja pirates. I don't think so. And I think they had traveled from another planet. Incorrect. I think it was called Cowboy Land. Negative. And they were here to rescue some cattle. No. And the blues were going to stop them. No. No, wait. Monkey. Monkey pirates. Mon from monkey pirates. Uranus. My logical data analysis sector indicates that would be highly unlikely. <laughs> my bullshit meter agrees. <laughs> oh, Sheila, you got sassier as you got older. I love Sheila. Guys, this episode is called The Hard Stop. It's episode 63. Um, so, so far, Caboose is a bit... Ugh, fucking Caboose. He just gets more thick as time goes on. It's just... It's hard to watch sometimes. It really is. Sheila's back. Properly. That's good. Love Sheila. I do love Sheila. And, and Donut is now Sarge's second in command, which is odd because I always figured it'd be Griff, but I guess, you know, the mutual hatred between Griff and Sarge is what kept them apart. This is the hard stop. Church! Church! Oh, hey, Church! Where's Hong Kong? Oh, hey, Church, you know That's a weapon, dude. Ask Tex. She has something to take care of. Girl stuff, I think. Huh? Like what? I don't know. Never ask. No questions of girl stuff. Never What are you two guys doing? Ask. We're going to teach Alien how to speak English. How are you going to do oh that? My People Jesus. learn English all the time. It aren't that hard. Maybe you should try learning his language. Fuck that. Yeah. We're here first, and that makes this a colony. <gasps> Those are the rules, dude. Earth colony? Earth language? Tucker, there's thousands of languages spoken on Earth. Yeah, but only one that kicks ass, and that's the one we're teaching. English 101. Remedial kick ass. Alright, yeah, there remedial is no kick ass. Gonna work. Yeah, it is. We got visual aids and Tucker. everything. Where the hell did you get those? Monkey. We made them. Turns out Caboose's gun didn't have any bullets. It was loaded with crayons. I just need to cut one of these things. You have a pocket knife? Of course hey, it was. If you cut something, why don't you just use that big sword of yours? Oh, right. Duh. Yeah. Oh, oh, jeez. Man, Ducker, that thing either really hates that sword or really hates you. <laughs> Get the second thing off me! <laughs> Wait a second, Ducker. This might be a good chance for us to evaluate how these things fight. Now hold uh, still. For science. Not the face! Not for the science. face! <laughs> it's just beating him. <laughs> Sarge, can you hear me? Sarge, come in! Sarge! Sarge, do you read me? This is Simmons. Come in! Hello, Red Army HQ. We don't stop until every blue is dead. Donut, let me talk to Sarge. For help in English, press or say one. One. Para español, marque numero dos. One. One. What? God damn it. <laughs> Unconfirmed Dutch Irish. Press one, two. Unconfirmed Dutch Irish. Donut. Oh, hey, Simmons. What's up? Donut, put Sarge on. Oh, yeah. Sarge is really busy. Things have really picked up since you left. Uh, My, what is Sarge doing? Here. Let, let, let me see. <laughs> you mind if I put you on hold? Just take a message. Donut, stop screening my calls. Sorry, Simmons. Sarge isn't available at the moment. Damn. I'll tell you what, I can ask him to call you back, but... It's really better if you have an appointment. Oh, for the love of God, I can hear him, Donut! Can you just tell him that I've captured the blue base and... ...and I've taken possession of their tank? Right, right. Simmons... Tell him we've got call waiting! Blue... <laughs> no, no! ...base... You're going through a tunnel! ...tank... ...tank. Are you really writing this down? Look, nope. I have to go. We have he a has conference a good call with Griff in five top. minutes. He's pitching ideas for how to use your rations. Gotta run. If anything <laughs> comes up, we'll call you. And Simmons? What? This job is the best! I can't believe you quit! <laughs> Damn. That's it. I'm gonna kill them all! <laughs> Sheila, lock and load! We got somewhere to go! <laughs> He's actually gonna kill them all, this is gonna be brilliant. Alright, Bob. Oh, is he still beating him? <laughs> talk about what, Butch? Walking on Sorry, dogs, that? picking up chicks? Excuse me, <laughs> is that any way to talk to a lady? <laughs> a lady? Yeah. Who are you kidding? I bet you got more balls than a Roman candle. Ugh, I knew this was a bad idea. Hey, Dick, <laughs> why you got black armor? 
couldn't find any in flannel? Listen, Jackass, oh. if I put you together, I can take you apart. Hey, what Damn. do you mean? Bombs come with remote detonators, dumbass. And yeah. any time I want, I can just hit a button and you're just a memory. A Ooh. very annoying, very insulting memory, but nonetheless, a memory. I think you're bluffing. I don't think okay. you're willing Strike to take that. All right. What do you want? Well, when I built you, I used yes. parts from an old protocol robot. Yeah, right. sure. And you also used parts from some of your more personal devices. Well, okay. Can you use those protocol parts and translate what this alien thing is? Excuse me? <laughs> of course. Well, what's in it for me? Let's put it this way. You don't push my buttons, and I don't, don't push, push yours. yours. All right, fine. Nicely done. But I'm not translating any of that touchy-feely crap. Deal. Come on. Well, are you coming? What am I going to do, roll there? Pick me up, you dumb bitch. Great. I can tell this is starting off well. Hey, Tex, I bet you haven't had your hands on a ball this big since your morning scratch. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, come on. Tex, baby, where you going? It's just a joke between the two He's of us, dick. guys. Come on. I have between the two of us, Laugh it guys. off, big guy. Laugh it off. <laughs> hey, Tex, when you walk away, I can see where you tucked it. <laughs> What's up, forever? Wow. Wow. Poor Tex. She's not a man. She's a... She, man, man, she feels like a woman. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I won't, I won't do that. That was legendary, guys. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm so glad to be back with Redby Blue. I do love it. Uh, join me in a little bit for Sense8. I hope you have a great day. And I love you all. I'm so glad to be back. It's a lot of fun. Caboose is perhaps the most stupid character I've ever witnessed in the history of anything, ever. It hurts to watch him sometimes. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I do love you all. Bye!